what's going on? It's Momo Head Movement TV. I'm with the father of Ted Juzman. What's your name again? Sorry, sir. Wayne. Wayne, yeah. Um, obviously, your son's fighting tomorrow. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Well, I think it'll be tricky for a few rounds, but once he catches up to him and breaks him down, it ain't going to last too long. So, what are you predicting? I'd say between four and six. Um, obviously, there's a bit of an altercation with an argument going on. Could you tell us a bit about it? Or? Oh, he's been very, him and his supporters have been very vocal on Twitter. Oh, here he is. What up, what up? <laughs> and What's it's up, just man? been a bit of banter on the internet, that's all. Yeah. Just a bit of fun, isn't it, Daddy? Yeah, that's it. I respect him, man. You put your son through the works, though. Yeah, so that's it. He got him, he's been doing it for 12 years old. Give up his youth and everything for him, so he's good, isn't it? It's real talk, mate. I've been to Armenia for the World Championships. I've been sweet. I've been all over the world watching this guy. I know what he's about. That's inspiration. That, I know that's what good. he's about. That's going to inspire a lot of kids and that growing that's up. That's right. He's inspired that's a lot of people in Burmese. Yes, it. Of course. I hope you've got one too. It's good. My, everyone needs one. My, my dad, he weren't really. <laughs> he weren't really. <laughs> well. Yeah. He's, he's changed though, he's turned it around a lot like the last yeah, couple of years, so yeah, it's good. But he was the one that actually got me into boxing because um, I used to go home bragging about street fights, like, oh, I just beat this guy. What's he say? He needs to sit there and be like, go and fight someone that's fucking like, uh, Sorry, go and fight someone that's trained to fight, that's going to come and give it their all. Mm. He's like, don't tell me about these junk men and all this rubbish. And then after about two years, three years of hearing that, I thought, you know what, let me shut this guy up. <laughs> and then that's when I went down the gym for the first time. So he actually got me into boxing. And now he's too scared to come and watch me box. Yes, it is. Imagine that, my mum be front row, yeah, shouting her head off. Hey, hey, hey. we gotta get him one of them. No, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get, get you a freebie. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, yeah. take the fist, don't take the fist. Yeah, we'll, I'll get you one after the fight. No, I don't want one. You should. Sure? Come on, Come man. On, I don't need nothing to clean the car with, do I? What, what about, okay, what about a picture of the I'll get you one of these. I'll get you one of these. Picture of the belt. Picture of the belt, yeah. Picture of the belt, yeah. Real deal. Come in the ring and get that picture. First time on Sky, I'm gonna give him that picture of the belt. See this? It's all love. He loves us because we're giving him his first big payday. <laughs> You know that, don't you? It's first big payday. <laughs> Wait, is it big? Oh, yeah, wow, if it's big, then boy. Yeah, oh. That's a no Man, comment from me, you know. I, I'm his first I'm big fired. payday, he's come up these levels, <laughs> yeah, that. he's going to fight someone ten levels above, take his money, and then he's going to go home, back into obscurity, to posh Reading, because it's not ghetto, it's posh down there. <laughs> I was in prison down there, I know. Yeah? I was in prison down there, I know. When was you in there? When was you in there? Don't worry, when I was younger. Ah, you were younger then. Okay, okay. Where was Ted these times? He won't bomb. Was he in his cop? He won't bomb. But I know that Reading is posh. Alright, check this now. I'm gonna give everyone a little education, yeah? Now, listen. There's no ghettos in Reading. Now, that talk right there, yeah, there's there's ghettos everywhere, yeah? In your richest part, there's a ghetto, because the ghetto isn't a place. It's not a place where you'll say there's a ghetto. There's no ghetto there, bro. It's ghetto is, ghetto is right here, determined Henry, by your life there'll experience, there'll what you and the little, next man's been through, situations that can be caused, yeah? That is it. Like, what you're saying, you're, that's like a stereotype. That's like saying, oh, there's, there, no there's no gangs, there's no gangs in women in Barcelona or, do you know what I mean? Like, come on. Seems funny. But anyway, let's not even talk about ghetto. Let's not talk about ghetto or nothing. I'm from the slum dog. That means, that means I've come from nothing and I've come all the way here. Yeah? But the funny, but you're not in the ring. That's the only thing. We all come from rough areas, don't we? He's done his job. Yeah, he's got his son on the pool. He's kept his son training all these and years. now he's the and I'm WBA be a international champion so, and so, Saturday so, he'll be the British Excuse champion. Me, are you going to be his son's kryptonite? No. <laughs> are you going to stop sucking his wood? Are you going to stop sucking his wood? Can he talk for himself? That's the Can he talk for himself? Can you talk to yourself? I don't want to stress you out. I don't want to stress you out, but I'm happy to buy you a drink after the fight. And you can do it. We have a nice Okay, before you go, then before you go, quick prediction, that's all I want, and then I'll. Okay, I'll hit you up. Four to six, it's all over. Four to six, all over. Does Ted think that? Yeah. He really does. He does. 100%. Listen, if he's saying four to six, if he thinks it's over in four to six, you know this fight's going to be sick. It's going to be tricky for about three rounds. You know it's going to be going off. But once he catches up with him, and breaks him down, it's all over.